Hi guys, this is Mrs. Allison. I wanted to do a tutorial with you on solving systems with three variables. We call them three by three because solving a system with three variables has to have three equations for us to be able to solve it at this point in time. So what we're going to look at is this system that's on the screen. And the way that we are going to solve this system of equations is by breaking it down into a two by two system or two equations with two variables, which is what we've solved since algebra one. So to do that, we need to choose a variable to eliminate. So just like the elimination with two variables, um, we're going to do the same thing. So we want to look at our coefficients or the number in front of the variable, and we want to pick a coefficient that has the same coefficient but opposite signs. So looking at this particular system, what I can see is if I wanted to eliminate my x's, I could do so by multiplying them to 15, these two equations, or multiplying these two equations to a negative one. Um, or I could eliminate my y's where this negative three could be multiplied by two to eliminate this with the six. And then this equation could be multiplied by negative three to eliminate with the six. I could also do my z's where I would be able to eliminate these two z's first. And then I could look at multiplying one of these equations by four and one by five to eliminate the z's in that case. I think in this particular example, I'm going to choose to eliminate my y's first. So to do that, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I am going to take two of the equations. In this case, I'm gonna take these top two equations and I'm going to do the same process I would with solving systems of two variables. And I'm going to multiply this whole top equation by two. Now remember, we have to multiply the entire equation by two. So I will get oops, 10x minus 6y plus 10z equals 24. And then I can keep the equation that was already there, which is negative 3x plus 6y minus 5z equals negative 22. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. Um, so let's just erase that. It doesn't look like a 10, which is what it was supposed to be. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two equations and get a new equation. So when I combine these two equations, I'm going to get 7x, the y's eliminate, plus 5z equals positive 2. Great. Now what I'm going to do is I need to eliminate the same variable, y, from another two equations. Um, so I can choose, I'm going to choose these bottom two. And to eliminate my y's, I'll need to multiply my bottom equation by negative 3. So the bottom equation will become positive 9x minus 6y um, plus 12z equals positive 21. And that middle equation isn't going to change, so it's going to be negative 3x plus 6y minus 5z equals negative 22. Okay? So now what I have is I can combine these two equations, and when I combine these, I get 6x, the y's eliminate, which was the whole point of that, 6x plus 7z equals negative 1. And now what I have is I have two equations, just like the system of equations problems we worked on earlier this chapter or back in Algebra 1. So now what I need to do is I need to rethink about these two equations and work on solving them. So to solve these two equations, I'm just going to rewrite them so they are together so we can see them. So I'm going to move, I'm going to move this one over here. Um, so this would be 6x plus 7z equals negative 1, just moving it over so I can see the two equations together. See, I can just look at my first equation here, my second equation here. I need to find, or I need to eliminate another variable so that I could solve for the final variable. You could choose your substitution. I would not in this case. 
So I'm looking at these two equations and neither of them are lovely. I'm going to have to multiply by fairly big numbers. I am going to choose to eliminate my z's. And so I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 7. And I'm going to multiply, let's do that. So that gives me negative 49x minus 35z equals negative 14. And then I'm going to multiply um, this bottom equation. I'm out of colors. I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by positive 5. So I get 30x plus 35z equals negative 5. Maybe would have been better to switch the negative signs on those two, but here we go. Now I'm going to add these two equations together. So we get negative 19x equals negative 19, which means x equals positive 1. Now, I'm not done because the system of equations has three variables listed, so I need to find the other three variables. So now what I can do is I can choose this one value to go back into either this equation here, or this one, same thing, or this equation here so that I can solve for z. And you get to pick the one that you think, look, think looks easier. Um, I am going to take this equation, x equals 1, and I'm going to go back into this blue equation that's right here. So I'm going to go back into this 6x plus 7z equals negative 1. So we're going to do 6 times 1 plus 7z equals negative 1. So 6 plus 7z equals negative 1. So we get 7z equals negative 7, which means z equals negative 1. Great. So now we have two of my three variables. So guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to take these two variables, the two variables I just solved for, the z equals negative 1, the x equals 1, and I'm going to take them and plug them back into one of the equations up here. You get to pick the one that you think might look easier of those two, or those three equations rather. So I may choose that top equation. So let's see what happens when we choose the top equation. I have 5 times my x. Well, my x was 1. Minus 3y, I don't know my y yet. Plus 5 times my z value, which is negative 1, equals 12. So I get 5 minus 3y minus 5 equals 12, which means negative 3y equals 12. And that means y equals negative 4. So now I have all three variables. And typically when we express our answer for a system of three by three equations, we are going to write our answer as an ordered triplet. X, Y, Z. So alphabetical order. So the answer to this system would be 1, negative 4, negative 1. And there is how we solve a system of three equations with three variables.